Hello everyone, today we are going to be doing a first impressions-esque video on the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Foundation. As you can see here, I just received a sample. I actually picked up two from Sephora, both in different shades. It's first impression-esque because I have tried this foundation two times now, but today I'm just going to try applying it a different way. I'm also going to be using the shade Cashew instead of the shade Cream. Cream is, or creme, I don't know, is what I was using before, and I feel like this is just a tad bit light on me. It just doesn't really do anything to perk up my complexion at all. So I didn't really like the way it looked and I thought maybe I'm attributing it too much to the shade. So I picked up a slightly darker shade and like I said, this is Cashew and I'm hoping that the shade works a bit better for me. The first couple of times that I tried this, I first tried applying it with a brush and I got the most streaky, awful looking application I've ever had in foundation. And then the other time I applied it, I applied it with my fingers and I just got no coverage. So, so far I'm not like super impressed with this. I'm trying to open up this stupid bag. I always have this problem where like these rip on me. Oh my goodness. As I was saying, I just wasn't giving it good enough coverage. And so far I just haven't been very impressed with it. But today I'm gonna be applying it with like a beauty blender sponge and uh, just kind of see how it goes. I've tested this underneath the Too Faced primed and poreless primer the last couple of times that I tried it just because I find that this primer works really well with everything but I don't I don't know if maybe that's the problem so today I'm gonna go primerless I'm just gonna go straight in with the foundation and we will see if this helps so I guess the way that on Sephora because I decided to go online and read like how you're supposed to apply this you're supposed to apply it to the back of your hand and then pick it up with a sponge and put it on your face I really don't understand what that would do as opposed to just putting it straight onto your face and then using your sponge to blend it out but regardless we are going to do it the way that it tells us to do it because I really want it I really want this to work so I'm just going to go in here and start applying while I kind of talk about the foundation again I'm using the shade cashew and I can already, I can already tell this is going to be a much better match um this is Laura Mercier's brand new foundation it kind of is following suit in the strobing glowy sort of skin that we've been seeing a lot on the runway and just uh, generally through last year, you know, strobing or highlighting was like a really big thing. And so I want to love this foundation. I think that the packaging is beautiful. I love Laura Mercier. And I think that the whole idea of this foundation is great. So I like, like I said, I just, I want to love it desperately. Definitely get a better application with the Beauty Blender. Um, I really don't know what the coverage on this claims to be. I'm gonna guess it's supposed to be a light coverage, but like, this is really light coverage. <laughs> when I was applying it with the brush, like I said, I just got a streaky brush stroked filled mess and I actually did it with two different brushes. I first tried with a stippling and then I moved to just a regular kind of buffing brush. Neither of those worked at all and it picked up so much on my dry spots. I decided to use a slightly heavier moisturizer today because even though this claims to be a luminizing foundation, it really doesn't work well over dry patches. And I've actually seen a couple of different people state that in the reviews, so I don't think that's just my uh, experience with it. Definitely though, blends better and looks better and less dry when you use the sponge. But I'm just gonna zoom you guys in here because this coverage is just like not doing me. I just feel like I don't really look like I have foundation on. <laughs> and that's cool. Uh, to some people I think, but you know, I have like this huge zit right there that I need to cover up. I have a lot of general discoloration. I have been breaking out like crazy recently due to a lot of stress that I've been under. And so my skin has just been hating me because of that. And this is not doing a whole lot to cover it up, but we're going to go in with the second coat. I'm just going to apply it straight to my face because I don't have time to put it on the back of my hand and then, yeah, this works just as good. All right, coverage is building up, but it is still clinging to dry spots like cray cray. All right, I don't even know if you should say dry spots, just kind of like texture in general, this foundation doesn't seem to do very well with. As far as the glowy, luminous finish, I must say that the finish on this, I think, is gorgeous. It's very, mm, I hate the term, but you know, skin-like. <laughs> kind of just looks nice and healthy. I wouldn't say that it's overly glowy. It doesn't look wet on the skin, but it's 
you know, other than in those dry areas, <laughs> it really looks good. Does fine around like my eyebrow region, which is good. It doesn't seem to like to cling to hairs and stuff, which is nice. Okay, my thoughts are better with a sponge, but still not completely perfect. But the shade Cashew, if you're like me, NC20-ish, this is an amazing shade match. Like I am blown away by how well I feel like this matches my face and my neck and everything. And how it just is nice and kind of yellow toned. So it kind of helps to cancel out the redness a little bit more given the tone of it. But I just can't get over how light of coverage this is. I'm not super impressed with that. I'm gonna go in with some concealer just because obviously I have some spots and I really need to cover them up and I'm not gonna go without it. Concealer and everything layers really well under this. It doesn't seem to like um, patch up or ball up or anything like that. I'm just using the Maybelline Master Conceal. I'm just not super nuts about the coverage. I feel like having to go in and apply two layers of foundations, I have so many foundations that I can apply one layer with and I get the coverage that I desire. I think that if you have pretty normal skin without a whole lot of dry spots, or if you think you don't have a whole lot of dry spots, see, I felt like I thought that I didn't, but now I'm like, oh, geez. Um, but if you, I don't know, I don't like to say oily because I feel like the luminizing thing, oily people aren't gonna totally like, but if you're oily, I wouldn't be scared of it just because it's not super glowy. It's just kind of nice and satiny. So maybe if you're oily, you might really like it. I just do not at all like the way that it just seems to cling to certain texture in the skin. And the coverage for me is just, it's just not what I like. I have a lot of acne scarring that I gotta cover up. And I think that if you like a really light coverage, like I wouldn't even call this light medium, definitely not medium, nowhere near full. This is like a true light coverage. Like we're talking almost tinted moisturizer kind of level. I'm gonna go in and conceal and powder and finish up on the rest of my face. And then I'll come back, tell you guys how everything applied over top of it. All right guys, I am back with all of my makeup on. My hair is, really messy right now because I'm actually gonna go get it done and I do not do my hair if I'm gonna go get a color that makes no sense so excuse that uh, anyway everything blended super beautifully on top of it I even noticed this in my previous applications it doesn't uh, cling to powders or anything like that I used a powder bronzer a cream blush and a powder highlight cream blush but blended really nice on top of it. Kind of hard to tell. Um, it's my Makeup Forever HD one. So I find that this usually doesn't sweep away foundation and I don't think it did in this case, but it's kind of hard to tell when your coverage is so light. Uh, but the powder bronzer, everything glided on it totally beautifully. I think that the powder highlight really ends up looking nice. And I think if the overall finish to the skin is just really, natural. If you guys are wondering what's on my lips, because I know some of you are going to ask, this is the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in the shade uh, Forbidden Kiss. Mm. Uh, I'll check in and let you know how this works for me later too, because this is actually a product that I just tried today. I picked up a couple of these guys and I'm really excited. Um, the application on this was wonderful, but uh, regardless, I'll talk to you guys more about that maybe in a separate video. But it is currently, what time is it? 2.15 exactly. I don't do this very often. <laughs> 2.15 exactly uh, in the afternoon. And so I will come back. When I come back, I might have to update you in a bathroom or something just because the lighting, it's already starting to get uh, a little bit weird. It gets dark at like five o'clock now, which is ridiculous. And hair usually takes way longer than that for me. So lighting might be a little bit weird, but we'll kind of see how it wears and how it looks. Uh, so far, it's looking pretty good but um, I will update you guys in a little bit. Talk to you later, bye. Okay guys, so uh, this is the end of my little check-in first impression. It is now 8.55. Um, the foundation held up beautifully well, um, even with the wear. I mean, we're kind of on that seven hour mark. So like I said, it hasn't been on forever, but I think once you get to the seven, eight hour mark, that's usually how long people keep stuff on. So I think that that is a pretty good measure. You can see here that I still have my little spots, which aren't super fun. But other than that, kind of looking in the mirror here, I don't feel excessively oily. I don't feel like my forehead looks too shiny. I don't think that around my nose at all it looks too shiny. I would actually th th say that things kept... Uh, I got lipstick all over my chin. Um, I would actually say that things kept pretty like matte for the most part. Uh, still not super in love with the low coverage and how much it clings on to dry patches. So personally for me, 
given that I don't feel like this is a foundation that I am going to purchase just because I feel like I have other foundations that build up a lot nicer and I have foundations that don't sort of accentuate that problem as much um, but I will say that it wears beautifully and I think that if you have you know oily to normal skin without any sort of texture problems and you're looking for something that gives really light coverage then i think that you will absolutely enjoy this i just think if you're like me maybe you have some more discoloration acne scars stuff like that that you want to cover up uh redness around the nose anything i just don't feel like this is going to be it for you the finish is gorgeous and the wear seems really good even without a primer but i'm just not super thrilled with that aspect following up on the lip color too uh this is after again seven hours of wear no touch-ups it's definitely faded it's kind of now just stained on here um it's interesting i it doesn't ever go fully matte because it's still kind of like a gloss but it does feel very drying the more that you wear it i don't think that it's something that i'm going to go run and pick up every single shade of um something like the Laura Mercier paint washes. I still prefer, and you guys know I rave about these all the time, but those, I think that they look more matte on the lips, but they still provide a really good amount of hydration. I would say that they're slightly more hydrating than these, not by tons or anything, but the fact that the appearance is so much more matte on the lips, I think that if that's the look you're going for, then you'll really like those. I also think that with the L'Oreal ones, they, uh, especially brighter colors like this, feather like crazy which the Laura Mercier ones didn't do so next time I'll definitely have to do a lip primer or a lip liner which I totally understand with the gloss that's normal I just kind of wanted to test it out by itself and by itself you definitely get the feathering issue so I like them I think that for eight dollars they're a really unique product and I think that they're nice and I'll continue to use the two that I have but I'm not going to go run and buy like every single color because I'm not that impressed if that makes sense here's maybe stepping away from the light a slightly better look at kind of like the any oiliness or any sort of finishes that we might have going on but uh yeah let me know if you guys like these style of videos i know that i don't do a whole lot of first impressions i've never really been that type but if you guys like these then i'll definitely do more of them just let me know i kind of feel like like this i look like just a head bobbing in the center of nothing i'm not very good at this yet guys <laughs> but that is it i hope you guys have a fantastic day night wherever you are thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you all next time Bye bye